So part of managing a project and being a project manager is having the skills and qualities of a leader. And the reason is because sometimes we have to lead people and influence people and help people and smooth over situations or help go through situations or assist in situations um, to get the desired result. And all of that comes down to being a leader, sometimes in some very tough situations. Uh, but the qualities and skills of a leader, according to the Pumbok Guide or the Project Management Body of Knowledge Guide, the main thing for project management is communication. So often what's quoted is nearly 90% of the time a project manager will be communicating with others, helping all those different pieces, bits and pieces, uh, get information into the right areas and making sure that, that communication is taking place, giving feedback constructively, accepting feedback graciously and managing those expectations. Of course, being a leader also means being respectful are kind, being honest, being loyal, and being ethical in the way that we do business. Giving credit to others where credit is due. And usually as a leader myself, what I would prefer to do is give credit to my team. And if something goes wrong, then I would, I would take the blame for that and help the process and help uh, coach and improve team members. But taking the blame myself as the leader for anything that goes wrong while giving praise to everyone when a team effort or even an individual effort goes right. Being a leader also means being a lifelong learner. So continuing to learn, continuous improvement, being able to sift through massive amounts of information to get to the important information. Wow, is that a good one. Um, <laughs> and, and you'll see this in the project management uh, tools and techniques for each process. As we go along in the Pumbok Guide, um, you will see expert judgment and data analysis are actually the top two tools and techniques uh, along with meetings. So <laughs> long story short, if you don't like meeting with people um, and sifting through huge amounts of information and data and communicating a lot, then you know those are the skills that you will need to help do this in the best way possible. You'll need critical thinking and of course be service oriented for the people who you're delivering that business value for. Now there are many different leadership styles as well. We've got laissez-faire, which is a hands-off approach, allowing the team to make their own decisions. Transactional, where we are focusing on achievements and it's, uh, I'll do this for you if uh, you do this for me. So we're transacting instead of uh, maybe doing other management or leadership types of things. The servant leader will focus on others' growth and their learning. Uh, it'll be a coaching role but also someone who coaches, but also who carries food and water, as they say, metaphorically, for the team. They will really get in and get their hands dirty um, and they will facilitate all that communication as opposed to just directing things all the time. A transformational leader is that visionary leader and they're ins inspiring and they're motivational. The charismatic leader is high energy, they're self-confident and they hold strong convictions. Um, usually people are drawn to these charismatic leaders because they are naturally naturally, you know, people who draw other people to them. So that's a wonderful thing. And that's how that helps them get things done in an organization too, which is really great. Then of course, we've got an interactional leadership style, which is a combination of a few, the transactional, transformational and charismatic leadership styles. Now, leadership and management are not the same thing. And you have probably heard this before, but project managers will need, and you know, one might be seen as a bad thing, but one might be seen as a good thing. But in truth, project managers need both to pull off uh, the work that they do to make it work. For example, management, even though you know, being a boss instead of a leader could be seen as being a bad thing, sometimes you do need to work on your management skills to manage things and get them through. Whereas leadership and guiding and coaching and um, being more visionary, that is also important from a strategic perspective and seeing the bigger picture. For example, under leadership, you'll be guiding and influencing um, and collaborating with people. Uh, you'll be focusing on the systems, the broader systems and the structure of things instead of the nitty gritty. Uh, you'll be looking at the long term vision, inspiring trust with your people, looking at the why, you know, start with why, Simon Sinek. Uh, they start with the broader why we're doing things and then work on how and what we're doing. 
But management, on the other hand, is that smaller day-to-day -day nitty gritty stuff. So your near-term goals, really getting that done, relying on control. So the actual direct control you have over your team, for example. Um, and then focusing on the how and when things are getting done instead of just the why. And the bottom line, so cost, managing that cost and all of those things. That's still important. You do need both and you need it in a balance to be a good project manager.